today we're going to drive into the island of Venice to give you an idea of what the island of Venice looks like, some of the main attractions there, so that if you're planning to move to Venice or maybe you're looking to vacation there, you have a better idea of kind of the main attractions. We're going to come in from Sarasota, we're going to take 41 and we're going to go over the bridge, make a right to East Venice Avenue. We're going to take Venice Avenue straight to Venice Beach. We're going to go further south, just going to take us to the Venice Fishing Pier and we'll stop at Brohar Park park and then even further south is Caspers and Beach. We're gonna go all the way back up north and then we're gonna swing around to the jetty. We're gonna make our way out of the island of Venice through East Venice Avenue and I'm gonna take that all the way east to give you a flavor of what it's like. So we're on 41 and we're heading into Venice. I'm coming from the northern part. I'm gonna take the bridge. Now for those of you who are interested in living in Venice, I think the northern part of Venice is a really interesting area to consider living in, whether it's on the island of Venice or more inland, because you're so close to so many different attractions, whether the attractions are in Sarasota or on Venice, with Welland Park downtown opening up sometime this year. I really believe that the northern part of Venice is a very central location to live in. You have all these options of places to visit and entertainment. This video, just like the Sarasota narrated video that I did recently, is going to be somewhat raw. If you haven't seen the Sarasota one, link to it here, or maybe it's this way. Either way, just look for the link. We're taking 41, the business route. Fairly soon we're gonna take the bridge over. In order to get us to places faster, I'm gonna take some scenes out, right? Because otherwise this video is going to become a three hour video. I don't think you're gonna to wanna to sit through three hours of video. We're on top of the bridge. You can see the Venice Theater in front of us to the right. We're on Venice Avenue. This is kind of the main road that takes you through downtown. And it's really cute, very quaint here. Lots of shops, restaurants. And you know what, this place has really evolved over the last, I want to say, five to six years especially. It used to be known as a very sleepy town, and I can attest to it. But you actually get to see people now on the streets. You know, it's quite buzzing. You can see all these cars lined up over here to the right. That means people are visiting. And also to my right is a park called Centennial Park. A lot of green space. People come and just hang out there, some of them. We'll picnic there. I've even seen weddings on Centennial Park. This road here, which is also taking us through kind of that main stretch of downtown, will take us all the way down to Venice Beach. And so if you're somebody who wants to just vacation here, and maybe you chose Venice Beach as the place you want to go to the beach at, then you're going to be so close to shops and restaurants in walking distance. People on the island are very active. To my right are tennis courts. There's lots of pickleball places to choose from in Venice as well. This whole area is evolving. Younger people are moving in. Of course, retirees as well, because it's just very quaint. So if you're looking for a single family home on the island closer to the water, you're looking at a million dollars and over, but there are more affordable options here, including condos. So we reached Venice Beach, and now the challenge is gonna be finding a parking space. Maybe I'll get lucky. Walking out of the parking area, there's a concession stand, volleyball courts. This is a great beach to come to. If you have children especially, We've got bathrooms here. We're gonna walk right through the concession stand, then we're gonna go onto the beach. this it's in February it's about 65 degrees so it's cold so you'll see a lot of people who are on the beach but bundled up and this is kind of what life is like in the winter time you can still come to the beach but sometimes it may be too cold to get into the water so we're just leaving Venice Beach and we're gonna make a ride and take that all the way down south to the different points of interest we're gonna stop in and unfortunately the weather is great today so hopefully this video will still come out good but as I always say when I'm doing this and the weather isn't good Florida isn't always gonna be sunny you know sometimes you'll have days where it's overcasted or lots of rain especially in the summertime so it's always good to see different kinds of scenarios when it comes to the weather especially right We're heading through the main entrance to get to the pier, and to the right and to the left. It's 
going to be fins and sharkies. Fins is up that way. This is Sharky's, great place for drinks. I take you guys to Casas and Beach and every time I've gone there it's just never been that crowded and I think it's partially because it's on the southern tip of the islands quite a drive but it's a beautiful scenic drive I remember coming here one time last year and it was more in the evening I came here for sunset and a local business called Picnic Paradise I believe that's their name they were setting up a picnic for you know four or five people right by the beach and it was just beautiful and they're still doing these types of picnics so if you're watching and you're looking to do something more unique for somebody maybe a special somebody that you want to have you know private moments with you should consider calling them now what I love about Caspersen Beach is that it is much more of a raw beach it's very rocky it looks much more natural than some of the other beaches. The beach isn't deep at all. People typically come here for the rock formation. They're also looking for shark teeth. Now, Castleson Beach is known as the shark tooth capital of the world. Now, it's not to say that there's a lot of sharks around this area. The teeth are very old. Some of them are millions of years old. So I just made a quick stop at the Lake Venice Golf Club just to show you the practice facility because people are actually practicing right now. Pretty soon we're going to be passing the historic downtown area again. So the island of Venice is definitely for somebody that wants kind of that small town feel, a quaint neighborhood, a neighborhood where you're going to be bumping into your neighbors most likely at restaurants and shopping areas. It really does have kind of that small town feel to it, right? So it's not for everybody, but if this is the type of lifestyle that you're looking for and you want to be close to the beach, then I really think this is an area you should be checking out. And again, the prices could vary. They could go well into the million dollars. The closer you get to the beach, the closer you get to the historic downtown area, the more expensive it's going to get. But there are some opportunities when it comes to fix uppers, small single family homes, more inland on the island could be had for a few hundred thousand dollars. You just never know. So it's a good idea to keep a finger on the pulse when it comes to real estate market here on the island. And you can always call me for more information as well. We're gonna go all the way north to the tip of the island. 
going to take Bayshore Drive to get us there. We're in the northern tip of Bayshore Drive and I urge you to take this ride if you're in the neighborhood because it's just beautiful. You're right by the water so you'll get a glimpse of the water and multi-million dollar homes. Now we're reaching the jetty and we just passed a restaurant called Crow's Nest. If you're in the area, check it out. It's great, good food and you have the water views. We're on the south jetty. Right there is the north jetty and that's in Okomas. South jetty is in Venice. It is a really nice area to come to for fishing or sunset watching. On the North Jetty, so beyond the North Jetty is Nokomis Beach. There's a drum circle there. There's a lot of beaches you can choose from if you live in Venice or Sarasota. We're in the very northern tip of the island. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but in the very far distance is the, Ven is the Venice Fishing Pier. When you're here, you can also grab something to eat right there. Cute little breakfast lunch space. We're now leaving the South Jetty. And we're going to take Bayshore Drive all the way over to East Venice Avenue. And then we're going to take the bridge over to the other side of Venice. We're downtown Venice and the sun is peeking out, which is so exciting. And so the weather is turning for the better. So we're heading over the Venice Avenue bridge and we're going to go to the east side of Venice. And the idea is to show you a different part of Venice. There's so many different pockets of neighborhoods in Venice. If you come here, explore all different sections of Venice. Go to Welland Park, kind of see what it's like on the southern side further east even across 75 a lot of the newer communities are being built east of 75 resort style living this video please like this video also think about subscribing to this channel if you need a realtor in sarasota county i would love to team up with you i can be reached via my telephone number or you can email me anytime and thank you so much for tuning in today i always appreciate it when you do take care